Good morning. I'm getting a COVID test right now. I just drove um, like an hour from home because there was a little bit of traffic to get a COVID test. Um, this should be nice and fast. So let's go poke my nose with a little stick. I realized I didn't tell you that the reason why I'm doing this COVID test. So I booked a job. I self-submitted on Casting Networks to um, a background job for a commercial. So I'm going to be one of three background actors in this commercial. So that's why I'm getting this COVID test. I'm negative. So I'm good to go for tomorrow. We're still on. I actually have an appointment right now. Well, not right now. Um, about an hour away from where I am now um, to try on a bridesmaid's dress. I want to buy it sooner to the wedding so that I can buy the size that I want. So now I'm going to just test it out, try on a dress, and then see what size I should buy. I don't know. I haven't made a decision if I should actually buy a smaller size or what. Because I've been exercising pretty much every day for the last month and a half. I just need to change my food and then I'll actually see some change, but... Anyway, I'll see you at uh, David's Bridal. <laughs> So apparently I'm a size 12 and the dress that the bride wants me to wear with like specific straps, there's one option that has pockets and one option that doesn't have pockets. And I would prefer to have pockets, but I feel like I would wear the spaghetti strap one again versus the other one. It's just, it's more formal and more bridesmaidy looking. Um, so I'm going to wait a little bit to order it size 12 32 inch waist that's a size 12 okay So on set this day, I actually only got used maybe a total of an hour and a half because I was one of the background actors and um, I was used in a couple of different shots. And for the most part, I was either talking to the crew, hanging out, working when they were not working, of course, um, working on a vlog. I actually edited the last vlog I posted on this set and submitted to jobs and read a bunch, but um, I was there all day long. Okay, not good. Oh my gosh, where am I supposed to go? Lobby. home it was a long day sometimes it's really exhausting to just hurry up and wait today the set was really chill beautiful views and now i'm home and it's friday night considering going to the gym maybe i should just chill though good morning it's the next day yesterday while i was on set i got an email from the owner of a production company in the bay area and somebody referred them to me i've only met her a couple of times um i know once i see her face i'm gonna be like oh yes yes um anyways she recommended me to um somebody who's working on some commercials in Spanish, a native speaker. So that was really cool. I sent them my clips from my YouTube shorts fund. And uh, I was like, hey, here's a clip of my Spanish if you want that. And then he's like, great, I'm going to show this to the client and then we'll require a self tape. And he asked me if they needed to work through my agency, which I would prefer that, especially in a job that's this big, just because they're going to be able to better negotiate the contract and make sure that's all good and that I'm not like exclusively saying like, I'll only speak Spanish for you or whatever. So yeah, that's really cool. It's Thursday and today I have a couple of auditions to film. I did uh, already do two voiceover yeah two voiceover auditions earlier this week but today <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel so funny. Today we're gonna film two self tape auditions and then let's see what else happens. Oh, I do have something exciting. So now I am on check avail, yay! Which if you don't know what that means, it means that they're checking your availability, check avail. So they're asking you to block off those, those dates, not book anything else on those dates because it's very likely that they're going to hire me. So that's gonna be in the middle of March, so yay. And uh, they wanted to do a callback with me on Tuesday morning, so I'll be doing that next week. But for today, I have an audition for UCG user-generated content. The only description that they gave for this one was talk about uh, like struggles you have when purchasing clothes, which is why I'm in my closet today because I'm going to, I'm going to set up this shot a little bit better because I don't like this. I'm going to shoot that in here. They didn't say if they wanted it vertical or horizontal, but in the past, since it is a lot of social commercials, they usually want it uh, vertical so that's how I'm gonna do it and then the second audition is for my agency the commercial audition where I mostly have to do actions and that one's a little different because they do want photos of me doing different expressions let me stop talking so much and just film these auditions because you should have seen me 10 minutes ago I was almost asleep and I put some music on and I was dancing around to some Britney to some music in Spanish and some techno <laughs> getting this energy where it is right now because it was not here 10 minutes ago okay Let's flip this camera so we can shoot the user-generated content audition first. I think that's a cute shot. The lighting is a little off. So literally it says, discuss your pain points when buying clothing. Okay. I shot a few different ones. I shot four different um, videos for that. And I think at least one of them is good. They didn't put a time limit either. So some of the ones I filmed were 45 seconds. Ones were like a minute and a half. But now let's transition over here and film the other audition that my agency sent me. Um, this one involves a lot of photos, slating, and then I'm gonna move over to the kitchen because the action that they want me to do is peeling potatoes or carrots. So that's gonna be after. I think I'm just gonna do all of the things that I need to do in here first, and then I'm gonna move over there, and then I'll be done. Oh, yeah, I need to choose something to wear. Okay, so this one is a mom that does yoga and is doing something in the kitchen. I do want to just do like a jean jacket or a jean shirt. This one shows my bra, not this one. I don't think I should do yoga in this because it's just gonna, it's gonna show my belly. Yoga pants for this one I think are okay since I'm actually gonna be doing yoga, but not this crop top. I'm putting this back on because I feel like yoga, if you do yoga, you probably have some kind of fitness tracker. Maybe a darker legging and like a shirt I would wear to the gym. Just like a gray. Does this one have a stain? Ah, oh, would this be weird? I think this is okay actually. Yeah, this is cute. So this and some tennis shoes. But wait, is it gonna look crazy with this blue? I don't think so. Oh my God, is this too many colors? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's okay. So for my slate, I need to say my name, height, show my hands, and then talk about what experience level I have for yoga. And since I'm gonna do yoga, I'm wondering, I should just do a ponytail now so that I'm not switching up what I'm looking like too much. And I'll just do the entire audition, including my slate with a ponytail, because if I do yoga with my hair down, my hair's gonna get everywhere. It's just gonna be super messy and awkward, so. My nails are okay. I haven't done my nails. Nail polish like I usually do since like December because I broke one super, super low and it's finally starting to grow out. So I'm almost gonna be able to do it, but my nail broke so low. Anyway, nobody cares. <laughs> Okay, now I need to take a few photos, close-up smiling, um, close-up excited, close-up oh no expression. <laughs> um, full body shot. I need my tennis. I need to cut the paper because I ripped it last week. to do for this shot. <laughs> what did I do before using this counter? I decided I don't need a counter. I've got a potato and a peeler. I'm just gonna do it here and pretend there's a counter. 
This is the size of potatoes I have right now. In the instructions it says, please do not actually hurt yourself. And I just peeled a little bit of my fingernail. <laughs> okay, I think we got the carrot shop. Sure, carrot shop? Carrot shot. It looks like I'm making chicken noodle soup or casserole or what is that called? Chicken pot pie or something. Hmm. I have to say this is one of the most more challenging auditions as far as like the different kinds of shots that they want us to get because they're asking for a lot of different um, framings. Let's see. Let's see how this turns out. I don't know. It's like a lot of... I think it's fine. It's fine. I shouldn't be too worried. I'm showing them my body movements, my facial expressions, which I think is the most important part. Let's go edit this. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. That's it. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure that you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.